Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we'll be comparing the HV-45 and the Terminus Assault Rifles for the Vanu Sovereignty's Combat Medic class. Both of these assault rifles are somewhat similar with the same attachment lineup, they have high rates of fire, they're both great at being close quarters weapons, and if you wanted a too long didn't watch right up front, the Terminus can do most of what the HV-45 does, but is more contingent on the player's ability to aim well. In other words, the skill ceiling is higher, but so is the skill floor. The HV-45 has some gains in close quarter situations and is better at hip fire, but ultimately you will outgrow the HV-45's capabilities if you play long enough. The HV-45 also costs 650 certifications, while the Terminus costs 1000 certs, so the natural progression is that you go into the HV-45 first, you learn it, you love it, it's definitely very fun, and then you move on to the Terminus, depending on where you are in your Planet Side 2 career. Now the assumption that I'm operating under is that most upper level players will gravitate towards aim down sights gameplay opposed to hip fire. But if you are a strictly hip fire player, the HV-45 is always going to be better for you because that's where it excels. That being said, we'll break down the stats in detail, talk about how to use them each effectively, and hopefully give you some ideas as to whether or not these weapons will suit your playstyle at all. The HV-45 deals 143 damage at 10 meters, then drops off to 112 at 60 meters. Contrast that with the Terminus, which deals 143 damage at 10 meters and drops off to only 125 damage at 65 meters. What this means for the HV-45 and Terminus is that both have a 7 body shot kill out to 10 meters, or to 15 meters with soft point ammo equipped, but the HV-45 drops 2 tiers of damage over its fall off distance, instead of the 1 that comes from the Terminus. So the 8 body shots to kill stops at about 34 meters and it'll roll over to a 9 shot kill for the HV-45, but you'll never drop below an 8 shot kill for the Terminus, provided your target has that theoretical 1000 effective health pool, which means no overshield or nano weave. Rate of fire on the HV-45 is 800 rounds per minute or 13.3 rounds per second, and the Terminus has a rate of fire of 769 rounds per minute or 12.81 rounds per second. For the 7 body shots to kill at 10 meters, the theoretical time to kill for the HV-45 is 0.45 seconds, whereas the Terminus' time to kill is about 0.47 seconds. And for your 4 headshot kill, there's almost no difference, as they both hover around 0.23-ish seconds, depending on how much or how little you want around. What I'm trying to convey is that this is a very, very minor difference in terms of raw damage output. When it comes to missing a target, or a target that has more health, the HV-45 is definitely going to make up some ground, but it's not so massive that this should be a huge selling point for the weapon, because it's a combination of traits that makes it more or less worthwhile. Projectile velocities for the HV-45 and the Terminus are 580 meters and 590 meters per second, respectively, and this is a negligible difference. Both are really good velocities for the weapon type, and 10 meters per second is something that you will never notice. Magazine size and ammo capacities are the same at 30 rounds per magazine with 180 in reserve, but the reload speeds are substantially different. The HV-45 has a short reload of 2.565 seconds short and 3.2 seconds long, while the Terminus has a short reload of only 1.95 seconds short and 2.65 seconds long. To me, almost a second longer short reload is a pretty big downside for a close quarters weapon and Based on how often you find yourself reloading, you may want to avoid the weapon entirely just due to the poor bullet economy. One thing that the Terminus does not have is a 075 times aim down sights movement speed multiplier. The HV-45 does, and this is one of the big selling points that you'll find. For close quarters and peaking corners, the additional movement speed you get while aiming down sights is very useful, especially on something with so much damage output. Alongside those last two traits, the recoil and cone of fire attributes separate the two weapons pretty heavily, and the higher your skill level, or at least your aim skill level, the more you'll notice the difference. I'll post stats up on the screen, but the key takeaways here are that the HV-45's horizontal recoil is about 27% higher than the Terminus's, and the Terminus's vertical recoil is about 17% higher than the HV-45's. Unfortunately, vertical recoil is something that you can compensate for with practice whereas horizontal recoil is just kind of something you have to deal with. Again, this pulls back to the Terminus being a higher skill weapon. I also want to point out that the horizontal tolerance seems really high on the HV-45 and much lower on the Terminus, but that's not really how horizontal tolerance works. Both weapons should kick left or right up to two times in one direction before coming back to center. 
so that number essentially doesn't matter. Another thing to point out is that the HU-45 has much stronger right side pull than the Terminus, and also has 5 degrees of variance, which is really bad for dealing with longer range targets, and it lends, again, to making the weapon less controllable. The last points of contention here are with the Cones of Fire. HV-45 has better hipfire cone of fire by 0.25 degrees while moving, and both the Terminus and HV-45 can equip advanced laser sights. With an advanced laser sight, you're looking at a 40% hipfire reduction, so 1.35 hipfire cone of fire for the HV-45 and 1.5 hipfire cone of fire for the Terminus. Both of these are pretty decent hipfire, but the HV-45 wins out. And with the rate of fire increase, it's very synergetic, feels more solid than the Terminus all around. On the other side of the coin, the Terminus has 0.3 moving aim down sights cone of fire, while the moving aim down sights cone of fire for the HV-45 is 0.35. That 0.05 degree difference between the two weapons is actually pretty significant when it comes to aiming down sights, and is something that increases the skill ceiling and makes the Terminus more valuable. As far as loadouts go, both weapons have exactly the same attachment options, except that the Terminus also has access to a 6x scope. Okay, sure. But beyond that, you get optics 1x through 4x plus IRNV, a flash suppressor, standard suppressor for the barrel, forward grips, advanced laser sights, dark light flashlights for rail attachments, and soft point ammo for the ammunition slot. For the HV-45, I tend to lean on a 1x reflex, advanced laser sight, and soft point ammo, whereas for the Terminus, I use a 1x reflex, forward grip, and soft point ammo. A forward grip is helpful for the HV-45, especially given the 075 times ADS movement, but I also found myself getting frustrated that the grip wasn't doing quite enough to put its accuracy in line with something that I would want to use at an extended range. It just felt better to go with the advanced laser sight and then choke up on the engagement range a bit. For the Terminus, it's pretty much the opposite. While the rate of fire is honestly pretty similar, the increased hip fire cone of fire is more noticeable than you'd think it would be, and I found that I couldn't overpower resist shield heavies with nearly the effectiveness as I could with the HV-45. So, slapping on a forward grip and just keeping a moderate engagement range or aiming down sights up close felt better all around. For barrel attachments, both are completely viable and just depends on what you're doing. If you're in a small scale fight, a suppressor can be pretty useful, especially if you know how to stay mobile. It can make for a great game of cat and mouse, and that's always a lot of fun. For everything else, flash suppressor is completely fine now that there's no cone of fire penalty, and the extra 15 meters to your audio profile is not something that's going to get you killed in a large scale fight, but it can help enemies pinpoint you in smaller ones, or if you're fighting behind enemy lines. So to circumvent the downside, you just fight next to other players. As far as strategies go, I'm going to keep this nice and simple. Fight at 20 meters or less if you can help it. The Terminus has a little bit more distance, but if you want to maximize your kill potential, you still want to keep things tight. Trust your hipfire with the HV-45, at least if it has an advanced laser. Against heavies, this can be more challenging, but when dealing with the lesser classes, you can usually overpower them by just holding down the trigger. And lastly, you want to aim at the upper chest and drag down into the left. We didn't talk about it much, but both weapons have pretty high first shot recoil, so by the second or third round you want to have at least landed a headshot, and then you can drag down to the left and then finish off the target. All in all, the HV-45 is something you might eventually outgrow, and I think I maybe made it sound worse than it actually is in this video, but it's outstanding for players who aren't super stellar at aiming yet. Actually, until really focusing on this review, I was in the camp that HV-45 was the way to go. Not statistically, but I didn't like the way the Terminus felt, and something always seemed a little bit off. Turns out that that was due mainly to the higher vertical recoil, which is something that you don't really need to deal with for the HV-45, as well as the lack of aim down sights mobility. Again, both are great weapons, and ideally, as part of the learning experience, you'd probably want to crutch on the HV-45 first, and then eventually dig into the Terminus once your aim and recoil management get better. But if this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and if you have any thoughts on the HV-45 or Terminus, feel free to leave those in the comments section down below. I'm also open to suggestions on which weapons you'd like to see looked at next, so let me know. Thanks very much folks, we're all signing off.